the circuit that never sleeps. I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry, I don't. What is going on guys, it is JJ here, back with a new video, and today we are going to take a look for the first time at the new F1 course, of course it is here in the United States, they are going to Las Vegas. So we're going to take a look at the F1 announcement on the official F1 YouTube page, as well we're going to take a look at WTF1's thoughts uh, and sort of the breakdown of everything involved with the course. I, being me, uh, do not know a ton about F1 courses in general, whether it's like the circuits or how it's going to race or if it's going to be super competitive. I don't think it's even coming till 2023, so a lot of people that are really pressed about it, really mad about it, there's a lot of time. It's a lot of time to wait, an, an entire year in fact. So. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. Um, and I guess we're going to take a look at a new F1 course for the first time. This is going to be super, super sick. So yeah, let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can obviously find both videos down in the description below. Uh, be sure to go give them a look and let me know your thoughts on the course. I just don't know how they're going to do it. Wait, oh, 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 oh. Formula One. Obviously, winner takes all. You guys are idiots if you think it's not. Uh, bam, bam, fix the ball. Go then, and what an amazing sight it looks. Listen to that roar. Cover made the hype video was pretty sick. It was pretty, pretty sick. This is such an amazing atmosphere. Never want to miss it. How are they going to do that? We have in store for us. Okay, I like that slogan. What happens here only happens here. Um, the circuit that never sleeps. I don't like it. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get, why would you put an F1 course in on the strip of Vegas? It's gonna be gorgeous, don't get me wrong. Vegas is, is, uh, well, I mean, once you're outside of the strip, uh, ooh, once you're outside of the strip, it's obviously different. But I'm very intrigued, obviously, they didn't even show like the course to it. They're just kind of selling you Vegas at this rate. Um, I'm gonna like it probably because it's in the US, so it's gonna be easier for me to, to link up with people or stream or do anything, but at the same time, what is even happening? Like, if it's... I'm just so... We're, we'll watch the announcement again. We'll watch the announcement again. Because I'm, I'm pretty lost, to be, to be completely honest with you. Um, so let's, let's have them sell me on Vegas again. It's, it's a gorgeous it's spot. Don't get me wrong. Here we go then. And what an amazing sight it looks. Listen to that roar. Such an amazing atmosphere. Never want to miss it. Oh, it's oh, my goodness. It would, it would, it's going to be sick if you get to watch it from like the hotel room. So that would be so tight. Okay, that, you know what? In terms of like an actual atmosphere of like going and watching the race, I bet you it's gonna it's gonna smash out the park. Cause there's probably like one hotel in Vegas you could watch the entire race from. That would be really, really cool. That'd be really dope. Now in terms of like a sporting event, um, I'm not entirely sold. I, I don't know. Vegas is becoming like a hub, you could say, for like international sports in itself, and it's got it's gonna have the infrastructure. They're gonna be able to build it, no problem. Uh, it's gonna like shut down the Vegas Strip for a week, cause that's gonna be very random and odd. Um, so I wouldn't want to live in Vegas at this time. But it's gonna be unique. It's gonna be a very unique spot. But okay, we're gonna take a look at WTF One's video, uh, sort of I guess highlighting it. I kind of I want to see the course. So, I, I mean, when they put out a circuit guide, let me know, and we're going to take a look at the circuit guide, because I feel like that's something I would need to see before I fully judge it. But yeah, let's, let's take a look at what WTF thinks. 
announced a new track for 2023. Yes, you heard that right. As of next year, we will have a Saturday night race on the F1 calendar. Saturday? But for me, it will be oh. an early Sunday morning race, but officially it will be held on Saturday in Las Vegas in the US. It'll finally give me a proper taste of what it's like to be... So they're going to do qualifying like Saturday morning, what would be like Friday night for most people? And then just spend 12 hours off and then right? There's no way you do that. There's no way you do that. That's unique. Be an F1 fan if I was from, say, Australia or America. Honestly, I take my hat off to you fans that watch the sport even though it's mostly on at some ridiculous hours in the morning. Fun fact, Australians. this is the first time a Big Saturday race guys. has been held since the 1985 South African Grand Prix in Kyalami. Another fun fact, the race next year will be the 75th World Championship race not to be held on a Sunday. That is 75 out of a whopping 1,059 points paying races, meaning that 93% of F1 races have been on a Sunday. The last time F1 visited Las Vegas itself, it was in a very different setting. In 1981 and 1982, the Caesar Palace Grand Prix was hosted in a hotel car park. Yep, you heard that really? right, a literal car park. It's safe to say it was a... This is why I like the WTF1 videos, because I'm learning things that I would not have known otherwise. That's so stupid. But honestly, unique to Vegas. Failure. Unique I mean, to Vegas. Just look at the track map for it. Absolutely That's horrendous. Horrible. Moving to this day and age, the proposed track for the 50-lap race around Las Vegas in 2023 consists of 14 corners it's gonna be and gorgeous, you know. the city's famous strip. The track itself looks relatively underwhelming at first glance, but that's just me trying to assess whether there'll be good racing around it. It's always difficult creating a brilliant track when you're restricted by the streets you race in. <clears throat> Did someone say Monaco? I'm sure it'll look absolutely fantastic under the lights, though. Taking a deeper look at the track map, Turn 11 seems like the best mm. opportunity for overtaking as it's a long run down towards a heavy braking zone, with Turn 1 also being another great chance to make a move. It could make lap 1 very interesting. The race is set to feature around November time, so it'll be one of the final few races on the F1 calendar, Wait. slotting in with the Wait. Of Okay, but what are they going to do if it snows in Nevada? No, I mean November is the middle of the winter in the United States. Or not the middle of the winter, it's the beginning of the winter, but still. Vegas is in a desert, all fairness, but it's not, like, completely out of the question. That's going to be unique. Brazil, unique Mexico, to Vegas, Jesus, it's going to be a very unique race. Texas. I'm curious to see what happens in the future for Formula One with a third US race for next year. Where do they go from here? Where's the Will other we ever two? Say I mean, there's the German one in Austin, the one in Vegas. What's the last one? Ever return to the calendar or are F1 sites set firmly on the Middle East and America? Could we see more than three US races on the calendar come 2025? I Lots hope of not. unanswered questions, but you can certainly see some trends starting to form. There you have it, a quick look into the brand new Las Vegas track for 2023. What do you think of it? Yeah, I do I do want to know you guys' thoughts on the course. Obviously, with it being Vegas, it's not going to be pleasant for you guys to watch. But at the same time, it might be. Who knows? We Maybe we got to give it a shot. But at first glance, I wasn't the biggest fan. So let me know what you guys think though down in the comments below. We're going to hopefully take a more expanded, more in-depth look at the circuit guide and what that means for other courses around the world for F1. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And peace.